Good afternoon and welcome to the Division of Employment Securities webinar on the North Carolina Unemployment Insurance Tax System, referred to as NC Suits. I'm Larry and I'll be serving as your moderator for today's session. Today's session will be discuss how agents can add employers in NC Suits. By now, I hope that those on the webinar have visited our website or have signed into the new NC Suits tax system. Now let's look at today's agenda for today's short 30 minute program. I'll give a brief introduction and background of what NC Suits is, and then we'll jump right into the demonstration. As you can see on the agenda, we've allocated time at the end of our program for an interactive Q&A session with our subject matter expert. During this time, we encourage you to share your questions by typing them into the Q&A panel. Click on the three dots on the bottom right corner of your screen, then select Q&A to type in your questions. Please try and keep any questions to today's topic. Don't worry if we don't have a chance to address your questions during today's program. We have already created an FAQ section on our website at des.nc.gov forward slash NC Soups. Any questions asked during this session that are not already on the site will be added for future reference. Also, before we get started, we want you to know that this demonstration was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Before we get started with the demonstration, I'd like to give you a little background about NC Suits. The North Carolina State Unemployment Insurance Tax System is a new modernized platform to administer North Carolina's unemployment insurance tax program. The new robust, easy to use cloud-based solution replaces DES's decades old tax mainframe and remote filing systems. This new system launched on November 13th. And if you haven't done so, please visit our website Again, at des.nc.gov forward slash NC Suits for more information. So let's get started. Giving the NC Suits demonstration today is Carlos. He will demonstrate how agents can add employers in NC Suits. Carlos, take it away. Thank you, Larry. So I am going to share my screen with you guys at this point. All right, so we're going to assume at this point that you 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 can access your um, agent's portal. So you will enter your credentials and then you will go in. So this this will be the first screen that you're going to look at. This will be your agent's homepage. Um, at this point, if you want to uh, link a new client of yours, then you're going to look at your options menu, which are which are located in your uh, in the left hand side of your screen. We have a set of options. So at this point, you're going to go into account maintenance. This is your option for account maintenance. Once you click on account maintenance, you're going to see a few options. Maintain account, maintain authorization, user management, and update loading credentials. You want to, at this point, concentrate in maintain authorization. Maintain authorization, you will click on it. And the, this, the next screen will give you a few options here. So. Just to explain a little bit the screen, uh, the maintain authorization, the first option gives you a search and you can search existing clients or existing linkages using the employer's ID number or the entity name. In this case, just for this example, I added two, uh, two different entities. So you can do a search for uh, cars for sales, cars for sales or for boat salesmen. Now, Next, the next, uh, the bottom of the screen, you have the authorization, authorization information, and this is what we want. We have add an, a new employer or delete. So we're going to click on the add employer option. Once you get to this point, you, there is the uh, um, you will enter the information that you need in order to link the employer. Now, there are two two options at this point. You have you, you can add an, an, a client of yours by using the agent authorization um, option or a power of attorney. For either option, you will need to upload a document. One is the agent authorization that will allow you, the, that your client is, is allowing you uh, or approving your linkage to your account or the power of attorney, which has to be notarized by a public uh, uh, notary public. So if you can access, we have two links here right on top where you can pull up the uh, format uh, from our uh, um, homepage. Uh, now, 
For this example, we're going to enter the employer ID and I created a uh, fictitious employer, uh, an employer, a not valid employer, <laughs> not real employer. So I'm entering the account number. Then you will enter the SIN number. That's the federal ID number. And then we're going to choose just for this uh, example, the first option will be agent authorization. And we're going to upload it, it, the agent author authorization that was provided to me by my client. You click there and uh, open. There it is. And then you're going to choose the role that your client, your client is uh, uh, giving you through this agent authorization. So we have five different roles that you can have uh, that you can get approved. One is wage reports. The next one is payments, account maintenance, unemployment insurance claims and tax rate information. Now, your client can give you just one role or, or, they, or, or you can get approved all, to all five roles. So in this, for our example, let's say he or she is approving two roles. Now, one quick clarification, we, we can, the, uh, your client can have up to five different agents linked to each one of these roles. One role per agent. Um, so you can have an, uh, an agent doing wage reports and payments and another one doing unemployment insurance tax claims. Um, so for this purpose, again, we're going to do two roles, wage reports and payments, and you have to access the uh, beginning date. So the beginning date could be any, any day when you start um, your client, when the contract starts with your client. So we enter uh, January 1st, 2023 for both roles, and then you can you click on the acknowledgement, and then save, and then submit. I'm not going to do it right now because I want to also explain power, power of attorney. So um, we're going to remove that, and then we're going to choose, in this case now, we're going to choose power of, of attorney versus agent authorization. Um, and we're going we're gonna to click here. So once you choose power of attorney, works a little bit different course has to be notarized, but the power of attorney is going to allow you to have all five options automatically. So if you submit the power of attorney, we're going to, uh, we, PES will, will, will review it, and if approved, it's going to, if we're going to bring in access to the employer's account in full. So again, you select, you select the file that you need to upload, and in this case, you can upload the file, uh, the power of attorney that you have. There are certain formats that can be approved, and, and I did one on a Word docket so I can get an error message and explain the different formats. So you can only upload a file, a, 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 a form on a PDF file, a JPEG, a JPG, a GIF, and a PNG. Those are the file formats that are approved. So an Excel or a Word or any, or any other type of format would not be approved. So again, um, Let's do this again here, an employer, um, and we're going to select the right one. Power of attorney on a PDF format. And then you will click the acknowledgement, and you're going to save it. So we're going to do that right now. Let's see here. Let's see, it might be 599, 54. Oh, and an extra three there. Oh, there you go. All right. So now, not going to be show. That's not going to be shown immediately here as approved because again, a, an a, uh, agent authorization and the power of attorney needs to be approved by DES. Now, if you need immediate access to your client's account. And it's a new, a, a new, a new client of yours. You can ask your client to go into their portal and do the agent authorization um, option to, pay, to do the agent authorization option because that will grant automatic access to to their account. There's no DES involvement, so the uh, employer can go again into agent authorization, click on the role that they want to approve, save it. 
submit it and it's gonna be automatically approved, but that must be done from the employer's portal. You as the agent will need approval from the uh, approval from DES. Um, once that is submitted, then it takes an average of two to three days to for two to three day business days for DES to approve. And once it's approved, you're going to get an email. It's going to tell you if it has been approved or not. In this case, I just made made up one, and you can have your unread messages and read messages in your portal, but. It, the unread message that will be you will be getting will be the agent for a relationship. I'm going to tell you what what happened to that approval. You can click on it. In this case, I denied the uh, the approval. So the agent the OA agent authorization work item has been denied. So you can look at your messages and see the results of your of your request. Um, I'm going to go back again to the menu of, uh, of accounts that you have under maintain authorization. Um, and here you can see the status of each one of the uh, uh, each one of the linkages created um, for your clients. So in this case, for car, cars for sale, I created four in which you have um, account maintenance, payments, tax rate information, and wage reports. Two are active, two roles are active, and two has been removed. In that case, it has been removed by, by the agent or by the client. They, so they can only grant access to account maintenance and payments. So basically, in a nutshell, this is the way it works. It's, very, it's a very simple process. Um, there's some time involved when you make that request under the agent authorization or under the POA format. And of course, the fast, the, the quickest way to link your account will be if your client will do it from their portal. That will be an automatic uh, approval if it's done under the agent authorization format. Larry? Great, Carlos. Uh, want to mention again the NC Suits Technical Assistance Hotline. Uh, that can be reached at 919-296-1569. And again, we'd like to just mention uh, that the demonstration today was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Also note that information on topics regarding tax registration, reporting, payments, and filing is based on current state law and is subject to change. Once again, thank you for your excellent, excellent questions and for dedicating your valuable time to join us for today's webinar. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to assisting you in your NC Suits journey. Thank you and have a great day.